All right, coming off the, the front of this guy, I'm, I'm laying this out uh, from the back side and it's it's just gonna make it a lot cleaner because we're not gonna have any pencil marks on the, the color side. So what I have is a 26 inch wide curb. So we're probably gonna use about around three feet of material. First thing I gotta lay out is I gotta, I gotta drop in a curb height of five and a half inches and then the width of the, the width of the curb. Um, the curb, the, the width I got, it's a, t it's a tiny bit bigger. So, and when I measured it, so when I bring it back to the shop, I don't have to make any adjustments. I just make it to what is on the, on my uh, notepad. I have my 26 inches there. And now I'm going to drop in the last curb height. So I have curb height width, the front width of the skylight and another curb height. Just for demonstration purposes, we're going to draw in these lines. Hopefully you guys can see them. So now the next thing, the next thing is, is how much do I want to leave coming out from the wall? So here's the width. I'm going to drop in my curb height up top now, which is five and a half. So here is up here. This is going to be curb face, front face, and then the sides. Okay. So the the mail allowance for the sweep is what we're going to create now. Uh, I'm going to be using a one inch seam. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a one uh, a mail seam allowance here and on the other side. In order to create this sweep, we're going to need to lay out a pocket fold on each corner. And in order for that to happen, we have to bisect these two lines here. Now that we have that drawn in, those male allowances from earlier start to come into play. This front fifteen is light. Go half inch. That's like me. You need to put this here. Start the cheek. Open it up. Just leave here. Open it up. Just leave here. Open it up. 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 Open it up.